hey, thanks for reaching out. I was looking at your search and I was just like, I think I was having the same problems that you were. And I was finding like weird stuff like parasites that live on bees that are doing blah, 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 blah. And so um, I was just like, well, what does happen to a bee when it's separated from the hive? Um, can they interact without the hive mind and things like that? Um, so I have a couple, I have good news and bad news. First one is if you just look up honeybee, there's what seems to be a popular book, um, Honeybee Democracy. So this is a university press that published this. So this is scholarly, but it's not necessarily going to be like that peer reviewed scholarly. So you may have to work with your instructor. Um, but if you look at the chapters in this, it looks like a lot of these might be, a lot of your questions might be answered there if you're allowed to use this. Um, so <laughs> there's like choosing a new home. Apparently they have debate, consensus building, um, democratic debate among the honeybees. <laughs> I don't know how they do this, but I imagine you can cruise through. Here's a table of contents. Um, so it seems like they live together and they don't have like an independent idea. So I, I went to Google Gemini, that AI, and I was just like, what does a honeybee do when it gets isolated? And apparently the answer is it dies. Because <laughs> it relies on the hive for food protection, temperature regulation, and communication. So if a bee gets lost, it, it's over. Um, so that might answer that question. Um, Having said that, I do have some search tips for you uh, to help find specifics in scholarly articles alone. And you could use these in any of the databases that I showed in class, but I'll just do it in the advanced search. So, honeybee, we know that that's a keyword. Um, it's going to look for things that have, so there's 50, 54,000. Um, but I want it to be... I want to find out what happens when it's by itself. So I do isolation or oh, let's do lonely, lonely, or independence. This is the search that I did where I didn't find anything. Indivi no, let's not do individual because they or lost or ostracized. That means you've been kicked out. <laughs> let's see what we find with that. And then peer review journals, 1044. And I want to have this be in the title so it's not just part of it, but it's like the main idea. I really had to drill down. 86. So there's bacteria. Hello. This might work. In independence and interdependence. So there's a virus. Microbial. Uh, <laughs> honeybee guts. So it seems like there might not be any talk about the isolation of bees. It might be just a foregone conclusion um, that they hang out together to survive. Uh, but we were talking about like how do they get around when they're out of the hive? Navigation or wayfinding is uh, technical terms, and I'll keep that in the title. Bees are famous for this. Oh, no way. So this is Roundup. So if it, so, the Roundup got blamed for killing bees, whether, that's, whether there's evidence for that or not, here's an article that's looking at it. And they're saying, does it affect their navigation? Visual flight control. So this one might be better for what you're looking for for the navigation. Last one, and my favorite one, Hive Mind. And again, we have it in the title. Oh, there's only one? Oh. OK, maybe let's put that out where it can be any field. I know there's a lot more. Did you intend to search for honeybee and hive mind? Yeah, I did. Well, I'll be darned. There's only one peer reviewed. That's weird. Um, let's ask Gemini again. 
are synonyms for hive mind. Ooh, so we might have to do collective consciousness, swarm intelligence. You might have to use these other keywords in place of hive mind or swarm intelligence or collective. Con I'm going to copy that so I don't have to type it. Collective consciousness. Hey, that did better. Of course, we get a wireless sense of swarm intelligence. Honeybee foraging. Yeah, look at that. Oh, dang. That's, is honeybee like a, a, a computer thing? Oh, man. So, OK. <laughs> Dig around, and let's say, <laughs> maybe we go over here and like bees. I just want this to be about bees, thank you, not wireless. And still, it's with the wireless networks. Ah, OK. Let's keep working on that idea and see if we can find something related to the hive mind. Um, Oh, there we go. <laughs> now it's electrical engineering. I keep getting fooled by the title. I'll keep digging on that one. Uh, but this is how we would approach it.